All right, y'all. It is that time again. Chore time. All right, Maggie? Hey, Maggie. Maggie. She just gets all excited about the chores. Yeah. You can tell Maggie's excited. She's barking. Welcome to the Vist Acres Homestead Channel. So, that's the reason I, I have, I've had comments about her being very vocal. And that's one thing I don't want to worry about because I know when she's barking like, like she is now, she is happy. Yeah, she's happy. She can't wait to get started. Lori jumped off here and she's ready to go. There's the guineas. There's the guineas. The guineas are at it. I'm curious if I turned the water off. It's the day's a water day. Yeah, maybe I did. I couldn't remember last night. And I'll tell you what, it's bad when you don't mem remember if you, and I got the bracelet, I just didn't put it on last night. But when you can't remember if you turned it off, and then you remember in the house, did I turn it off? And then you forget whether you went out there and checked it. Phew. Oh, you dope. Maggie and I are gonna get at it. Okay, we let the cats out. There's Lambo. There's Lambo. There's the scoop. I need to get that scoop. There's Taylor. Taylor's coming on out. He's kind of dragging around. And I'll bet Fuzzy ain't made it out yet. Fuzzy don't get. Fuzzy don't get in no hurry. Where's Fuzzy at? That might Fuzzy already out. Maggie? Maggie had a bath this morning. You know Maggie had a bath. Now I gotta figure out if I left this water on. I don't think I did. I didn't see it running out no more. It does look like I did turn it off. That's a good thing. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the water done. And I'm going to leave you guys with the geese. Let's see if we've got a good view of the geese. There. Yeah, we've got a good view of the geese. Move y'all down here with the babies or, young, or youngsters or juveniles, as my buddy on Wild Huckleberry might call them. Which these haven't started laying eggs yet, so. That Maggie, she's being Maggie. 
Old geese are happy to go here. I mean, tell hey, you, they're happy. Man, they're happy, happy. All happy? Huh? They love clean water. I thought she said yes. I mean, they love... A, that's a once or twice a day job right there. I'm gonna get the lavenders now. They don't drink like water. I think I'll go ahead and make sure everything's fed up here while I'm at it. Baby turkeys. Hey. I got a friction in the hose. I know where the friction is at. I'll um, put y'all in here with them for a minute while I water them. I got a reload raise the bite back here. But he's doing good. We're out of water. Hey. I feed the geese. I haven't fed the geese. Uh, go over here and feed the geese. You know, I'm gonna let the lavenders out today. That rooster last night was aggravating the hen that we put up. They're gonna stay in there today. He's, he, I hadn't had any problems out of him, but if he thinks, I was saying somebody about this this week, if he thinks that you're scared of him, he will try to intimidate him. I don't know what they're, what are they doing? I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen that behavior out of them. What are they doing? What are y'all doing? Huh? I don't think I've ever seen that type of behavior out of them. I don't see no rats in there. They must have been fussing. I guess even geese fuss. But yeah, they must have been fussing. Oh, we've ever seen that kind of behavior out of them. They're, I have to admit, they're usually pretty. The geese are usually pretty docile. All right, let's walk over while I'm thinking about it. Let's check and see if these are still sitting. No, they quit sit. Uh-oh, all the eggs are gone. Something got here and got their eggs. 
I should have probably got them the other day. I was surprised that they they went that long. Something ate every bit of them. No, something ate every bit of them. I mean, it didn't even leave no shells. You just, I tell you what, y'all. You just about for predators, especially here, you can't hatch nothing in the wild like that. So, maybe next year, which this year I really didn't, to uh, be honest, I really didn't. I really didn't want any more guineas to fool with. This, we're getting into the fall, winter months, and birds are, baby birds are hard to deal with this time of the year. So, maybe spring we'll get some. I hate that though. Don't get me wrong, I hate that. That's, that's the one that was up there this morning. You know, I told you they looked kind of ragged, yeah. I do, I hate that. I should have. Is that my phone? See if it's work. If it's work, I'll have to get it. Y'all, we're gonna go there and get these other ones done. Kane's looking pretty there. He's got all his tail feathers back, hasn't he? They didn't come back white, you know what? Angie? Yeah, we're about we're through with it. No, I haven't fed it. That's the only thing we like. Hi. Did you knock that door down, Angie? Hi, y'all. We'll come up here to the quail house. I gotta go turn the water on, off, and uh, I came out the other morning up here on a rat update, and it didn't look like we had any rats up here. All right, so what we are going to do? Turn around the sounds, but I do have cordless mics. I gotta get a, a cable to go from the mic to the camera. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna move these quail. And I'm, first thing I'm gonna do is put Maggie here. Maggie, you're going out. You're gonna get out. Watch this. Maggie, get out of here. Go on, get out. Get out. So she does mind. Anybody, anybody don't think Maggie, come here, Maggie. We'll do that again. I don't think I had the camera. All right, good girl. 
Maggie does mine. Maggie, get out. Maggie, get out. Go on, get out. See, she does mine. I know it seems like it's hard to believe she does, but uh, she does. She does mine. All right, y'all. We're gonna. And I do believe, I may be wrong, I hope I ain't, but I do believe that, uh, I do believe I got my murder wrap, maybe I got it, uh, these uh, don't seem to be, the, the doors haven't been chewed off yet anyway. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is first thing first first to this move is gonna be catching these. Alright. Put them in there. So oh, see that's why I took Maggie out of here. That's why I took Maggie out here. Maggie would have had that, buddy. She would, she would be. Oh, yeah, you need to. If you don't care to take your mama's back, you carry your back. Is it? Yeah, I think they already got it. Yeah, because I was going to use it here. Oh, Maybe it is. I don't know. I was going to carry the birds down there up in because I already about had it. tell you what these y'all these these are these these uh copernics you can really get attached to these 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 are just wonderful birds uh i've already clipped his beak once or uh, they looks like they've got after his eye looks like they've got after both his eyes males you get a bunch of males but they can be they can be vicious they can be vicious I want to put a pan in here. I don't want to fool them. I don't want to fool them mouse traps there. That's a good way of getting your fingers done. Do a pan now. Oh, you do? It? it is down there. It was down there. All right, there we go. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, it was the channel. You can go back and look at my plumbing video where Angie had set one of these things and didn't tell me about it. And, uh, it, uh, got, hey, I'm going to take it down there, Ryan. We'll, uh, all right, so. Yeah, that'd be good. We're gonna, I'm going to take it down there and. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put some uh, males over here on this side. We still got rats. Look at that, y'all. Huh? Uh, because a predator could uh, get in from the bottom down there. You put one in the center. You can pull the bottom, and a predator could get in. So if you just put one on the bottom, then you got to put one on the top. Yeah, they keep something from digging in from the bottom before we get the thing back. We still got rats, Angie. Right, so I'm gonna put the male bob whites. Look at this, Angie. All right, y'all. The, the quail video, if you watched the quail video, you'll remember on this side of the cage, there was four of these, right, Angie? There's now five, or is it six? Shall I'm gonna go back and look, but I put all the young quail in here, Bob Whites. How did they get in here? Cause I asked Angie, I said, did you move some of those quail? And she said, no. So they had to come through here cause they're, they're probably small enough they could squeeze through here. I didn't think about that when I put them in here. 
and they came over here and looked here. I'm gonna go back and look at some old video footage and see where I put the old ones at. And I'm about positive, I'm 100% sure the old ones was over here. And there was three of them. Now obviously there's more than three in there now. Now go figure that one. Apparently they didn't like being with this bunch, so they went over here with this bunch. Now there's five. So one of these females has decided to stay over here And the other ones came back over here. I, and I think right now they're getting too big to go back and forth. I'm telling y'all, that is strange. I, I really believe they're too big to squeeze through there. But obviously if you look at the quail video, there was four in here. I might, if I go back and get a clip off of it, I'll show you. And I swear, we have not moved these things. I don't like moving bob whites here. They will go everywhere with you. And Maggie. I'm being awful calm for Maggie. Okay, so we got the carrier, so let's go down and catch some quail. Got a better carrier than I've got. I gotta get on Facebook Marketplace. And and buy me one of them. Right. Right, so which one which ones do I want to move first? The ones oh man. I've got an incubator down here too I need to clean out. Actually I need to clean the cabinet incubator out too. Alright, so Maggie stop. Okay, y'all, we're going to move these bob whites first. Maggie, get out. And we are not going to have Maggie here help. Alright, Maggie, get out. Maggie, come on, get out here. Get out here, Maggie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out. I don't need your help. Don't need your assistance. Don't need your help, girlfriend. Maggie, stop. See how wild these are compared to the one I showed you? I mean, they're, they're wild. Bob Watts, they're just wild. Hard to catch, hard to deal with. These are the ones that are ready to catch it. You can be hard to catch. Catch this. They are extremely difficult for me to catch. But Maggie comes in here, she can she can catch them real quick. Oh, All right, see, it's what males will do. They will see they're tearing this one up. That's great. People don't understand that, but that's re that's that's the reason you really basically you know, it ain't no fun, but that's the reason you that's the reason you gotta process it. Otherwise they'll end up killing each other. Maggie just does not get the concept of moving birds. Maggie, stop. Maggie's almost like the cats. Maggie does not like change. She just don't like change. 
stop banging. And we're probably going to process these male quail. Huh? Maggie, get out. I don't need you in here helping me. Get out, Maggie. All right, Ryan, keep her out. All right, we're going to catch, try to catch them here. Put them over here in the cage. Well, that would not look real good, does it? No, there's one here that looks worse than that. Poor females. Kick it to make it lock. Yeah, this one right here. Maybe they've been in tight quarters like this. They don't even listen. Look at this. They're all males. Oh, Alright, we're going to go down and catch the Caternixes. Okay, y'all, you seen how it went with catching the male quail. We'll go a whole lot better catching these up the furnaces. I will still, I have to ask Miss Maggie to leave. Maggie, come on, get out. Maggie, get out. Maggie. Yeah, 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 Drive it here. Hey, right. would you chill? Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't need your help. Get out. Get out. I don't need Maggie's help. She's disastrous help with quail. Hey, we had a bunch more of these. Than I thought we had. These are all females. You know, you can see how much gentler these are than the bob whites. Angie and I saw on Facebook one time somebody said they had bought some bob whites. And they was pharaohs. You do see they are the same color. 
You know, they are the same color, but they're not bob whites. If you was turn those in the wild, they wouldn't last no time. And they'd be gone. Now these are good, as I've said before, if you want birds from your homestead, uh, these are these are good birds. They reproduce very well. And ours, for the most part, are pretty gentle. Yeah, I think we got more we need in this cage. Probably. Yeah, the more the more the crowd is better. We'll crowd these in here and see how it goes. I'm pretty sure I checked these and there's like two males in the whole bunch. Maggie. This is something ancient I've been needing to do for about a month. Now this is a, a smaller one. This is a uh, from another hatch. But they do all right. We might have to go back through and probably do another check. Would you feed those? What? Those. Did you feed them? No. All right, y'all. That's all those. That was, everything has been caught. These ones start drinking water out of that thing up there, you know. I gotta fill it up and clean it. Maybe it'd be big. Yeah, they need to hatch them. I don't mind hatching quail in the fall and winter. They're a little bit easier to fool with. A bunch of empty cups. We got to get something like this down on that. Uh, that baby coop where that don't happen again. I mean, them lake, them waters are not reliable. Yeah. y'all we've got a two breast chickens to hatch so far or chicks to hatch so far out of 13 and um when i candled them um it looked like we only had four that had something in there so out of 13 eggs if the other two hatch We'll have four, but right now they're due to hatch tomorrow. We've had two to hatch out so far, and um, I'm hoping the other two will hatch out because I paid sixty-six dollars for thirteen eggs, um, and that was was with shipping and handling at Breast Farms, and I knew about four of them wasn't going to hatch to start with. I mean, they were very obviously not very good eggs. Them being a farm, you would think that they would know that. Um, the eggs were odd shaped, and then we had some that were just a odd color. And you know, hatching eggs, we kind of we kind of know what's healthy and what's not. You know, I would I wouldn't have sent the eggs out personally <clears throat> if I was charging that much. Um, so I don't recommend you use uh, the, I think it's breast chicken farm. I'll look it up for sure. But these two are look pretty healthy. So I'm hoping I have a hen and a rooster if only those two hatch. I did message them to let them know um, that I had four right off that didn't look good. They never messaged me back. I never got a response. So usually it's not a good sign when you start out that way. So it is what it is. Um, you know, just stuck with what I got, and hopefully David and I can go to a breast farm, because I want to start raising breast chickens for meat, um, and eggs, so we'll probably just go to a breast farm and buy them, they're about $10 a piece if you buy the chicks, but I would still came out a lot better just buying the chicks than purchasing these 
I ordered 12 and they gave me an extra. But like I said, I knew right off that four of them wasn't any good. So, uh, if you go get the chicks, you can kind of get, you know, get what you want. They're already hatched, so. Even if you pay a little bit more for them, you know, I would have come out probably a lot better than this deal, but. Um, I enjoy watching them when you hatch them. The progress and, and stuff, but, um. You know, like I said, I, would, I wouldn't dare pay that again. I sure wouldn't use that breast chicken farms. I don't recommend that at all. All right, guys. All right, y'all, that wraps this video up. We uh, got it done. Before I finish, uh, I want you to take a look at this footage. I had to go out of town, and uh, I kind of start where I start off at. I was fortunate I was able to get back home, okay? Going over there, as I'll mention in the video, it was a mess. But uh, y'all, take a look at this video. Hey y'all, this is Dave Vista Acres. It's a little bit different here. I am traveling. I had to go to a meeting up in Charlotte. Y'all, I want to tell you, if you, ain't get, if you don't have to be on the roads or highways, I'd stay off of them. Coming up here, it should have took five hours to get up here, and it took over nine. Uh, and if you don't have to go to Atlanta, I'd stay out of Atlanta. Atlanta is a, the traffic is a mess. Uh, it's just an absolute mess. So, you know, uh, it took me from Kennesaw to get on the other side of 85 uh, towards Greenville. It took me almost, uh, I think it was about three hours. It should have been a five hour drive and ended up taking nine hours. So on the way back home, I'm headed home now, time y'all see this video, hopefully I'll be home. Uh, I'm not going to go through Atlanta, we'll go through the woods. So. I might take y'all along a little bit, show you a little bit of that as I go. But right now, I took a stop, got some fuel, because uh, definitely in these situations, uh, you want to keep fueled up. I used to travel all the time, and uh, the job I got now, I don't have to travel, just have to go once a year to a meeting. So that, I, I like, I'll tell you what, going to this meeting makes me realize I am glad I don't travel. But uh, y'all, I'll keep you updated. We'll see how I get home. All right, y'all made it back. I didn't see any any damage. I went through the woods, and uh, that ended up being a really good way to go back home. A whole lot better than going through that Atlanta stuff, y'all. Uh, hope you enjoying the video of the update. Um, like I say, I'm already back home by the time y'all see this, but I want to show you something. Maggie hadn't seen me since Sunday, and it's Wednesday. So I want to video this and see how she does, okay? I'm going to call Angie and tell Angie to... We'll see, when I get the camera set up out here, we'll call Angie and tell her to let Maggie out, okay? All right, here we go. We'll set the camera up. About knock door down. What you doing? <laughs> yeah, where you been? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What you doing, girl? Yeah, what you doing, girl? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, me. Maggie, Maggie. All right, let's go, Maggie. You ready to go? <laughs> okay, y'all, hope you enjoyed that. Boy, Maggie, she was happy to see me. There's no doubt about that. She uh, uh, she was just all full of joy, wasn't she? That's one of the pluses of owning a German Shepherd. Uh, they are very clingy. They, they uh, and uh, Angie said she moped around the whole time I was gone, just about, other than feeding the chickens, and she, she does what she does feeding the chickens so but y'all that uh wraps this video up appreciate each and every one of you watching uh, 
And if you can, tell your friends about us. Subscribe and like, and we appreciate that. That helps grow the farm. And helps maybe in one day even feed the chickens. Y'all, thank you for watching.